We have in English what I call busy verbs. And today, we are going to look at one of these, the verb to be, as it is used in information technology texts. The reason I call them busy verbs is that to be, for example, has two main functions. One is as a main verb, and second, as a helping verb. Let's first look at the function of to be as a main verb. In your IT text, you are likely to come across a lot of new terms that need to be defined. So the verb is or are is used to give the meaning of a term and is usually followed by a noun or a noun phrase. So let's look at an example of a definition. This is defining the word ethics, which occurs very early in your text. Ethics is our term to be defined, and this is followed by the definition, a set of beliefs about right and wrong behavior within a society. Here we have a number of nouns, set, beliefs, behavior, society. We have prepositions of, within, and we have the adjectives right, wrong. The second function of to be as a main verb is to express purpose. The verb is or are is used to help us give the reason, purpose, goal, aim or target of something. And then this is followed by, generally, the infinitive of the action verb. So let's look at an example. The goal of the US accounting standards is, and then we have the infinitive of the main verb, here, the action verb, to prevent fraud. The third function of the verb to be as a main verb is to evaluate or come to conclusions based on given information or a situation in which we find ourselves in. Here is an example. When you are in a situation that conflicts with your moral standards, you might believe it is important to do as your employer requests. So the given information here describes the situation that we find ourselves in, in terms of ethics, which is a conflict with moral standards. You have to evaluate the situation and come to a conclusion. So you decide it is important to do as your employer requests. And we have the verb is uh, introducing this conclusion. The fourth function of the verb to be as a main verb is to explain, expand, or give further examples which helps to make the meaning clear. In such examples, the verb is or are is usually followed by a noun or a noun phrase, somewhat similar to a definition. So we have already had the definition of ethics, and now we want to add more information to expand on this. So we have another ethical issue is the inappropriate sharing of corporate information. So the given point is the ethical issue and the explanation or expanding or example is the inappropriate sharing of corporate information. And the fifth function of to be as a main verb is to express modality. There are many ways of doing this in English, but one of them is to use the verb is or are followed by an adverb of modality. So an example of this, some computer virus threats are likely to occur and could have a high impact on the company. So we have a subject here, computer virus threats. The verb are, because the subject is plural, and then we have the adverb of possibility, likely. Now we come to the second use of the verb to be, and this is as a helping verb. As a helping verb, it combines with a main verb to form, first of all, the passive voice. Now this is very, very important in academic texts, including your IT texts. The verb is or are shows time, and the main verb is in the past participle form, and this forms the passive. The passive is generally used because the doer or subject is not important or is unknown. So let's look at an example here. A code of ethics is developed 
with emp employee participation. The is here shows the present simple tense, and developed shows the past participle of the verb develop, and together this forms the passive voice. Here, the actual doer is not specified and is really not important. The important thing is that the code of ethics is developed and employees participate in this. A second function of the verb to be as a helping verb is to form the progressive or continuous verb tense. Now this form is not commonly found in academic texts, except from time to time in case studies. So this is why I have placed it last in the presentation here. An example of this, the new employee is doing well in the company. Is here shows the present time, and the ing form of the verb shows progression or continuity, but it does not show tense. This verb form is very common in general English, particularly in spoken English, but you will not find very many examples of it in your IT texts. Now we come to the form of the verb to be. The verb to be, either as a main or a helping verb, shows the time or tense of the event. And the form of the verb changes depending on whether it is present or past. So if we are talking about I, which again is rare in academic texts, we have am or was. Is is very common in academic texts, as we saw, generally with a subject that could be it or some other noun. And the past of this is was, or if it is they or uh, some plural subject, we have are or were. To be is often called an irregular verb because it cha its form changes depending on the person, whether it is singular or plural. So we have I am, I was, he, she, it is, he, she, it was, or you, we, they are, or you, we, they were. Thank you.